Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Shout out to my Premiere Squad for tuning in and watching this with me. Um, if you would like to be a part of Premiere Squad, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and you will be notified every time that I do premieres. I don't do them all the time, but most of the time I do. And if you want to keep up with me on my other social media platforms, especially if you, you want to keep up with my wigs and stuff, promote my wigs and stuff on my Instagram page, which is I Fancy Cupcake. So be sure to follow me there. So today's video is brought to you by me. So a few days ago, probably like three or four days ago, Still Looking Good 58 DM'd me and Wheezy and she was like, Din Din, who is the lady who does the wig types reviews, she did a review on Martina from Outre. And I have seen Martina. Martina came out a little bit, probably a week after Outre's Kamaya dropped. And I love Outre Kamaya. But I did not pick up Martina because on the stock card, she looks very silky and kind of stringy. And I was like, I'm not interested. But after um, Still Looking Good told me about that, I went and watched Din Din's review. And I was like, hold up now. She looks like she is textured and she's up my alley. So I loved her review. So I immediately placed my order. And then like a couple days later, Deanna Monet dropped her review and she looked bomb. So if you have not watched Deanna Monet's review on Altrace Martina, go watch it. So expectations for Martina are very high because she just looks like she's up my alley. So, so I, <laughs> I went ahead and bought three of these y'all. So, um, I feel like you guys like the multi colored reviews and stuff like that. I did three in my Kamaya video. So I was like, let me do three here. Yeah. So I have Kamaya in colors, DRFF golden amber. I have it in a number two classic number two. And I have her and of course, Ginger Brown. Ginger Brown blew my socks off uh, with Kamaya. So I was like, before this pops off, let me go ahead and get all the colors that I want because Kamaya is probably still out of stock. So I got what I wanted and I purchased mine from Wig Types, but I'll leave a general link in the description box for you guys. Let's start with the number two. This is Altre's Martina and it's from the Melted Hairline Collection. So what they claim with this line is that the hairline has a frontal effect and it's no plucking required. With Kamaya, I didn't pluck anything, so I'm hoping the same for this one as well. And they have a, a redesigned comfort fit ear contour. But really and truly, when I'm wearing this wig, I just focus on the middle part and that's it. You can go, you can go in and like glue everything down, but if I'm gonna be reviewing three wigs i don't think i want to review i don't want to glue down every single one like hardcore everywhere but you can uh, but the way that i apply it was just like focusing on the four by four part it still looks very very natural so it has hd transparent lace and it is curling iron safe up to 400 degrees it has five inches of deep parting space it has a pre-attached wide elastic band natural baby hairs and I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on. So this is what the number two looks like. And I'm looking at it, this looks very textured. The stock car, I mean, she looks very pretty, but this looks like a silky thin kind of wig. And this right here is thick. Wow. So this is what the parting space looks like. It looks a, a little bit wide. That's why you definitely have to wear like a black wig cap. And I had to close up my parting space a little bit too on Kamaya, so I'm used to that. This is what the baby hairs look like. They look pretty wispy. They don't look super thick, which is really good. Looks like we have some layers going on in here. Very nice. And it's a shorter length. It looks like it's about 14 inches, but we'll try it on. So this is what the cap construction looks like. We have two combs on the right and left side right here and right here a, a longer comb in the back and adjustable adjustable straps and we have this ventilated cap with the track sewn on it so i'm just going to try it on and see how it fits with no wig with no wig grip or anything okay so with this one it's still a lot of lace but um it's not as much lace as kamaya okay so 
depending on how I feel about this wig, it's gonna determine if I keep my Sensationals Elite Babe because this is very similar in like the style with the layers and it being like a 12 to 14 inch kind of wig. So if I like this more, I'm gonna probably sell my Elite Babe. Okay, so this is what she looks like. Just plopped on my head, already looking good. Um, I am six feet tall, so I will, I do have a longer neck than probably the average person. So it falls on me about 12 to 14 inches. Look at this y'all already and she is thick. So I think this is perfect for this time of year in the cooler months because she is, she's a thick one. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so this is what the hairline is looking like y'all. That's what it's looking like. I feel like, or maybe do I need to pull out the heat? That went pretty flat without heat. This is cute already. Now I'm gonna try to shift it just to see if it's uneven. Some people don't like middle parts. So I'm gonna just see how it looks as a side part. Oh, I mean, it looks like it's, okay. It's actually not that dramatic of a difference with Kamaya, I think it was for me. But that don't look bad. I mean, the ear tabs is it's gonna be up here. It's gonna get messed up a little bit. But you can finesse it. But I'm probably gonna wear mine as a, all of them as a middle part. But this is what we got going on as a side part because I know somebody would ask me how that looked. How that would look. So this is what a side part would look like. I was watching Din Din and Deanna's review and both of them said it rem reminds them of Nisha and I can see the comparison. To me she looks like Nisha 201 but I feel like because of this lace, this is what the lace looks like. It's like a light brown. I feel like the lace is more versatile. It's on Nisha's for me was uh, a little bit dark which is going to work for deeper complexions but if you have a light lace you have more potential to for a lot of other skin tones to, to make it work for them. So this lace is too light for me, but I do have the even, I have my even tinted lace spray here and I am using the, the shade or the skin tone light warm brown. So I, that's what I'm gonna use as well as my foundation to make it work for me. And that's what a lot of other people do who have deeper complexions. So the lace is light, so you're gonna have to manipulate it if you are my complexion or darker. I feel like this is a medium sized cap. It doesn't, yeah, it feels very comfortable. Um, I don't feel like I have an excess amount of space in it, but it's very comfortable. I'm gonna just say it's a medium sized cap to be um, on the safe side. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this wig, and I'm just gonna apply this one on camera and the rest of the colors that I have are gonna be done off camera. guys so I am back and I have applied Martina in the color number two and I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling about her so she definitely reminds me of Elite Babe and Nisha 201 combined um she's like Elite Babe like the style to me is just like that from Sensational um but this one has a way better hairline so the one Elite Babe is just like a regular part wig. This particular wig, it is a regular part wig, but it has lace from ear to ear. So you can glue it down like a frontal. So let's have that frontal effect that a lot of people want. I still feel like this is beginner friendly, even though this is a like a frontal effect kind of wig. 
and I am not I did not glue the edges down because for me it's no reason to um, it's really all about the front of the hairline and I think it looks natural um, as far as like shedding I have like three or four strands that come out it's not a lot of shedding for me and definitely no tangling yet but um, it's a synthetic wig and eventually that will happen. I think the lace melts down really, really well. Um, I did use my Even Tinted Lace Spray as I told you guys in light warm brown and I'm finally out of it so I need to re-up um, just in case I'll try to drop some more bangers. Um, so I think this looks super natural. I think the luster is nice. If it comes off shiny at all on camera, it's not shiny. I did take some pictures in front of in natural light like in front of a window and I feel like it looks very natural. I am going to try on the other colors and see how I feel and I'm not going to show that process. It's going to be the same thing with the got to be glued just in this area not really on the sides and then I'll come back and tell you guys how I feel about Martina overall and how I rate her. So stay tuned. the DRFF Golden Amber. Um, with this particular one, they don't have the Hazelnut Honey, which is my favorite blonde. So what I've noticed about this one, the hairline is not as pre-plucked as it was with the number two. Um, so I feel like it, like the hairline doesn't look as natural. Um, and I am wearing it as a side part and I think it looks cute. I am just partial to darker hair but i think this is very nice especially with this nice yakky texture definitely puts me in the mind of nisha's it's very thick but i feel like with martina you won't have to thin it out so as far as like shedding goes i have a few strands here and there just like with the number two and but i don't have any tangling yet so super thick and it's, it is pretty hot. The cap size is very comfortable with this one as well. It feels like a medium cap. And surprisingly, the elastic band actually felt like it had some presence with this wig. Because usually with synthetic frontals and stuff that come with a pre-attached elastic band, they are really flimsy. They're really flimsy and they don't, you know, actually do what they're supposed to do. This one actually had some grip to it. So I'm pretty impressed by that. Um, I feel like I'm gonna like the darker colors just because I like the that's just my preference but I think this uh, blonde color pairs nicely with this texture so let's move on to the last one and Right, guys I am back and I have applied the last Martina in the color ginger brown I think this color is very very beautiful I have tried ginger brown in Kamaya but Kamaya was actually uh, dark rooted so this one did not come with a dark root just to make it blend a little bit more with my like edges and stuff I put a little bit of matte black eyeshadow around the parting space just so it would blend better 
and I did try to curve the parting space a little bit more just so it looked a bit more natural. This is what the hairline is looking like. I don't really have any baby hairs like that. I have a pretty clean hairline. This color is very, very beautiful and like perfect for fall. I think it looks so, so pretty. So with this one, a little bit of shedding just like the other two and no tangling. The luster is very pretty and natural because it is a like yakky texture. So one thing I did notice about this one, this one has crinkles in it. Like in some spots, it's like noticeable crinkles in it. I know a lot of people don't like that with their synthetic wigs because it kind of comes off more synthetic, but um, I don't think it's that bad. Um, so I do like that this wig has a lot of nice layers and the ends are bumped, but it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like it's like old school. It looks, it looks good. So the density on all of them is very thick. So you're going to be hot, but it's going to be really good for the cooler months. As I told you guys, cap size is medium to large, in my opinion, medium to large on the safe side. I'm going to, I'm going to go with a medium. The lace color is on the light side, but you can manipulate it with lace tint spray and foundation to get it to your liking and to match your complexion. Overall, I think this is very beautiful. Do I like it more than Kamaya? I don't think I like it more than Kamaya, but it's not far off. So I gave Kamaya a 10. I'm going to give this a solid nine. I feel like the lace blended better with my Kamaya and I feel like the hairlines were more pre-plucked with Kamaya, but I think this is very beautiful. I'm not mad at this at all. I think this is stunning. Do I think it's better than like Outre Nisha 201 and the Nishas? I actually do. I think it's better than those. Um, and I feel like it's going to work for more people because it's not as thick and it comes with a like light brown lace that can be manipulated for people who are lighter and who are deeper complexion so i think all around this is better than the nisha's in my opinion overall this is super nice and i would highly recommend you guys checking it out if you're looking for something that's kind of an everyday length has some texture and some layers in it and some beautiful colors outre always gets the colors right if there are any questions that i did not answer in this review definitely just ask me down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Shout out again to my Premiere Squad for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.